what is up i'm a water turtle and today we're going through the turtle pokemon in pokemon masters as of right now at least the ones i currently have and so we actually have a couple but uh before we jump into it if you haven't added me in this game uh you can see my id or yeah my id up there if you do want to add me uh as far as how is our farming going it's going okay definitely slowed down significantly uh every single every once in a while we upgrade something and we lose a lot of these uh buff blends so constantly trying to rebuild those uh pretty happy with the gym books so we are at 38 notes that's pretty good so yeah let's take a look at the turtle pokemon and we have two and i have to say i'm pretty disappointed um and however i think there's potential in one of them and especially when it comes to pvp whenever that hits i feel like there's a chance that this will be kind of like the mvp at all times so let's start off with the i believe this one is a free one it's flannery and torkoal this one disappoints me and especially it's super disappointing because in dream league uh the next japanese set of the set japanese set that just dropped there's a character rail of flannery and torkoal and i think it looks really cool but and in this game it's this thing is absolute trash in my opinion so let's take a quick look so it's kind of like that tech rule i suppose the thing is supposed to be do like disruption that kind of stuff um and so it does have xp attack so but the problem is this thing is only for itself if it was all it would be somewhat acceptable uh but sure all right you you sharply raise your own special attack and then too hot to hand this thing this pokemon is all over the place so sharply raise your defense cool sharply raise your critical hit so it's like trying to do everything but nothing very well and then as far as like oh okay well maybe it's a special attack uh you know crit thing it gives some defense so it can last longer and like no like his two bar doesn't even do damage it just burns your opponent and then the ember does like minimal damage so this thing is all over the place does master of nothing pass passive like stats can't be lowered that's okay you don't need to lower because it, it it it's not a threat of anything so i'm probably not even going to bother to level this thing up super disappointing um the only thing i can hope for is you know that they kind of switch some stuff up and maybe they add some like tms and stuff like this to make this thing somewhat viable but like i definitely think it's a three star it'll always be a little bit weaker and its attacks are you know they do nothing <laughs> so as you can tell i'm pretty uh, salty about that but let's take a look at this um it's not too too good which is kind of uh disappointing but we do have our turtle here and this guy does have some potential so uh i see this role as tank but i'm not really sure what that heart means and uh oh, all right, we don't need <laughs> that okay. guy marlin's kind of an interesting guy uh he likes blue and uh caracasta i wish you could like rotate or something Caracasa kind of looks like a he, he, he's a cool looking turtle he kind of looks like a turtle bane kind of thing to me but uh so this pokemon is very interesting uh maybe we'll level him up just to see what his stats look like kind of compare it to superior but all right this one does it right x defense all so right off the bat that's better and this is the one that when pvp comes i Depending on how they implement this, this may be the most important thing in the game. Uh, so it makes your opponents focus their attacks on the user, makes the user endure the next hit it takes. So one thing about uh, this game right now, when you're doing PvE, is that your opponent will always attack superior, or it seems like they go for the tank, which is kind of strange. So let's say you, you're running like a rock, and let's say you're you're facing each other you have superior lycan rock and swana which is my favorite lineup and then your opponent has the same thing if you could attack any pokemon your opponent like what would you attack like it wouldn't be superior maybe it would be swan as a support but most likely it'll just be take out the lycan rock take out their dps and then you should be fine uh but your opponent always goes for superior and that's fine for us but uh, when it comes to PvP, depending on how to implement it, like let's, if not much changes, you can attack whoever you want. So might as well attack their DPS. And then it'll just be like these slow guys fighting each other. And then maybe the meta's like, oh, just have all these DPS running into each other. And that's kind of silly. But it's Pokemon like this that maybe change it, rough seas ahead. Maybe this would remove the ability for your opponent to choose who they attack and they have to attack this Pokemon. Uh, not only that, 
and like, oh, well, he's only three star, maybe he would last that long, but still, this ability allows him to at least endure the next hit. So, uh, I feel like that thing, this this thing could be uh, the most important ability when PvP comes. And then for its attacks, you know, they're kind of negligible. Um, actually, this power is not too bad, but it is too. And then rock. I do I do appreciate how this thing can lower speed. That's obviously very useful. Um, but he's not really here to attack, so don't think it's that relevant. It's not bad, but it's not, it's not super relevant. And unbending. This is a pretty good passive just to make sure. I'm not sure what skill is lower defense, but uh, just to have this so it can't happen is a good thing. Uh, so I think uh, let's level this thing up and see how it stands against superior Definitely not expecting much, but uh, you never know um, And I do think that that ability makes it even better assuming that's how PvP would work which in my head would, that would make sense um, If you have any additional thoughts on this, let me know in a comment down below and especially when it comes to PvP uh, You know how you think they might roll that out Um, you know what? We got plenty of books. Let's figure this out. Let's, uh, let's, <laughs> on the 0% chance that PvP comes out tomorrow, we'll be good to go. Alright, so level 90. Let's get him up there. Let me burn some of these. Someone, I think I saw on Reddit that there is a, like, max item have and then you just stop collecting it once you hit it but I don't know what it is but I'm sure we're not close but we might as well just use them all right kind of just 10x all of our stats all right defense 137 and then 99 special let's compare that to our primary tank right now superior Alright, superior, oh, 170, and then 224. Alright, so that means special defense doesn't even stand a chance. But the defense is, uh, if, if we do like the potential thing, uh, at that point it could probably stand close to it, but definitely special defense is going to be very lacking. So if things will go the way I think they would, that's kind of like where you're looking at is. Um, Kind of like a defensive tank. And let's just go into a battle. Let's, um, I want to see, I think the way they'll have to do it is, actually we'll probably just spam everything, just to make it simpler. But, let's see, is there any more of these? No. Let's see, all right, let's just do, just spent a lot of our resources, let's start recouping some. And let's use a, a weaker DPS. Let's see, what was the weakness? Maybe we'll bring in for a name. Yeah, we'll try this lineup. <clears throat> so we'll just kind of see if we're capable of taking this out. So it's not a super course, but it is the tier three. Go a little bit slower. Actually, let's see who they attacked first. See if they're attacking. Oh, it looks like they're going after the Swana, so we'll use this. See what this thing does. Alright, so it does exactly what we think it'll do. And let's see how much damage it takes. Oh, what? They switch back to Swana? That's very much not what I wanted. <laughs> oh, and I was playing this like a super course. Took it out a little fast. So yeah, I'm not very happy with the fact that they're still targeting the Swana. I want them to target Torkoal. Or the Karakasta. So in that regard, this thing is not very good for PV, uh, PvE. At this point, like, what is the point of having this? Um, 
you know, sure, I guess he could kind of disrupt by lowering speed, but, you know, that's, that's not going to be good enough. And his attacks are nothing special. So I feel like the... Yeah, PvP... And actually, that lasted very short. It was like literally only one attack. I was hoping that it would he would kind of like draw aggro for an extended period of time, and it just happened to be the next attack also won't do like hardly any damage. So it doesn't seem like that's exactly how it works. So um, I still think there's some potential here, but definitely not that strong, especially when it comes to PV PVE. Um, so yeah, to sum up, Torkoal basically trash. Uh, the Karakasa does have some potential, especially when it comes to PvP, and um, yeah, we'll kind of see how that rolls out as the game continues to be defined. But uh, that's it for today's video, a little bit different, and uh, as always guys, like, comment, subscribe all down below. I'm Moana Turtle, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.